If you think I'm here to see you, you're dead wrong. I came to return some earrings to my mother. Now, why on earth would I think you'd come here to see me, huh? Because you're unbelievably arrogant and self-centered. What is with you lately? No, there's no one in Harmony I'm interested in. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, man. All the girls here are big, fat zeros. Why waste each other's time? You don't want to talk to me, and I have nothing to say to you. Fine. I'll go in the front. What? Uh, what were you talking about when I walked in? Nothing? No, nothing much. Mother, I know when you're fibbing. Right. Um, I'm gonna go read the paper. <sighs> now are you gonna tell me what's going on? Who said it was any of your business? Whatever. Anyway, I brought back those earrings you loaned me. Oh, honey, you don't have to do that. You love those earrings. Why don't you just keep them and then you can wear them the next time you go out? Mm, that's okay. I don't expect to be doing much dating in the near future. Oh. So things between you and Noah, I thought maybe, you know. Mm -hmm. You thought wrong. It was a colossal mistake thinking we could ever have anything real. I'm so over him, it's not even funny. Well, you know, you seem very adamant about Noah. You know the quote about people who protest too much. If you think I'm trying to cover up for some deep yearning for the jerk, you're completely wrong. Just goes to show how well you know me, Mother. Look, honey, I know what it's like to try to shake off disappointment when things go wrong with the man you love. I've done it a few times myself. Well, that's you. I'm nothing like you. And I have nothing good to say or think about, Noah, and that's my last word on the subject. If you say so. And if you don't mind my asking, when did you become the queen of flip-flops? You were so determined to keep Noah from getting involved with me. You should be throwing a victory party. You won, mother. He hates me, I hate him. Fancy. That is not what I wanted, not ever. I, I am sorry if I wasn't more supportive of you and Noah in the beginning. I really am. I just thought you were too different. Looks like you were right. We couldn't be more opposite. He's always wrong and I'm always right. What I know is what I see blossoming between the two of you. The sparkle in your eye and the love and tenderness in his. You've seen that? Sam has too. And he and I, well, we learn the hard way. What happens when you try to fight off your own happiness? Honey, if you have feelings for Noah, any at all, please don't throw them away. Even if I wanted to get back together, he's got no use for me whatsoever. Are you sure about that? Forget it, Mother. It's never gonna work out between Noah and me. You know, Grandfather was right. It's time to move on. It's the only way I'll ever meet the right kind of man for me. Fancy, honey. Do you honestly believe you're ever gonna meet anybody who makes you feel the way Noah Bennett does? you want to work it out with Noah, so why don't you just give it one more chance? I, w I want to, Mother. I've never felt this way about anyone. But it it's no use. He doesn't feel the same way about me. Not at all. How can you be so sure? I just am. I've got to go. Are you stalking me? Uh, 
not really. I, I was hoping to see you again. I hope we got through to them. I'd hate to see them lose each other. I don't have all day, Noah. What do you want? Um. <laughs> look, I want to talk about us. Uh, about our future. 